Should we talk about the Italian fascist? Uh... Yes, let's do that. So um, basically, the Italy had a uh, far right party, uh, which is like I think it roughly tra- fr- uh, Fratelli d'Italia, like the Brothers of Italy. I believe mm-hmm. it translates to. Right. They the right wing coalition s- scored uh, a little bit around forty four percent, and so now they're going to be the ruling coalition in Italy. And this is just another indication that these fascist parties or uh post-fascist parties however you want to brand them, uh, brand them particularly in in europe are gaining a lot of traction here and um and that that's terrifying yeah i mean it, a couple of things like i think it is uh a, an emergency uh and something to be super concerned about uh, i also think people I also think, well, let me just read this. Um, After what I've seen in Spain, I've come to the conclusion that it's futile to to be anti-fascist. Well, this is George Orwell. I should just um, bury the lead there. It is futile to be anti-fascist while attempting to preserve capitalism. Fascism, after all, is only development of capitalism, and the malice democracy, so-called, is liable to turn into fascism when the pinch comes. We like to think of England as a democratic country, but our rule in India, for instance, is just as bad as German fascism, though outwardly it may be less irritating. That's a letter uh, Orwell wrote and like i think like i i think like this is a historic moment i guess you could call it that and it could lead to more fascist taking power across par- in parliaments across europe and i also think we need uh some recognition about how fascist just things are on a day-to-day basis like trump is a fascist uh not explicitly the republican party doesn't need to be quite as explicit about some of the harder edge things about fascism but like i i think f- we've sort of been here um at least like at least in america and i'm somebody who would have said that even if hillary had won in 2016 trump was never um uh uh president um i think like america is very close to fascism but um there's also another this is not this is how uh oh actually we put that back where you had it bradley um this is actually not um where uh, if you can see where okay, yeah um this is the, not how you to respond to this glenn greenwald hillary oh wait um that's not it okay. um anyway greenwald uh was uh basically tweet, tweeting about how this is the first uh, female prime minister and now it's uh really great um but look at uh, the eu and the um because this um italian I forget her name, Georgia. Uh, um, I have it here. Georgia, Georgia Maloney. Maloney yeah. um, she's so anti-establishment. And just huh. uh, as to like that, I want to go to Giannis Varoufakis, uh, who says, uh, uh, Miss Maloney is a good plan B for the European and NATO establishment as the new prime minister has already given her backing in two key policy areas. First, unlike Matteo Salvini and his party, which crashed electorally, Maloney has already fully subscribed to the hard NATO line of unconditional military involvement alongside Ukraine. Uh, second, and again, unlike both Salvini and his former governors, uh, the Five Star Movement, Maloney has renounced her earlier disagreements with the Eurozone architecture huh. and the economic policies dictated by Brussels and the ECB. And so, I mean, that's Giannis, Varoufak- Giannis Varoufakis' uh, assessment. This was a Greenwald's first response. Um, Italy is on the verge of election that would result in its first ever female Prime Minister, Georgia Maloney, one of Europe's most authoritarian politicians, the elected EU Commission President von der Leyen, uh, at von der Leyen, is threatening to sanction Italy if its citizens vote for her party. And framing this as, this is why so many people despise the EU, as if this is just uh, somebody who is a threat to this, uh, the EU and NATO, for instance. Because of an anti-establishment thrust. But it's probably because she's the, the like a fascist, I think is maybe a better... We'll see. We'll see if uh, if um, Maloney is a threat to NATO um, uh, and uh, the EU, then Verifax is wrong. Greenwald's right. But uh, we'll see who's right about that. These are the limits of anti-establishment politics, as we've talked about here. And sometimes people like Greenwald weaponize it for their own ends as a way to like, I don't know, that whole Hillary Clinton tweet is just another snarky liberals are so hip- hypocritical kind of uh, but he did what hillary did i don't quite understand yeah like, i'm i'm mocking uh the left for engaging in identity politics as i engage in identity politics the re the the uh georgia maloney ran on an anti-eu uh 
platform as like kind of a part of her anti-globalism uh, theme. And we're going to ha- hopefully have a guest on to talk a bit more about this who knows more than more than I do. But, um, you know, there she was apparently uh, going to the National Prayer Breakfast here in the United States. She is cozy with Steve Bannon. She has been a proponent of the Great Replacement Theory, um, has been openly, pr- uh, at least earlier in her political education, was openly praising Mussolini and talking about how his uh, politics were were laudable, um, has uh, run on an anti-immigrant platform, as I mentioned, talked uh, trafficked in Great Replacement Theory politics, anti-LGBTQ politics, talked as spoken out against wokeness i think was a part of her campaign so the point is that these the trump trumpification of uh conservative movements on an international scale is uh it, it it continues to spread and these themes are being used and exploited by fascist right wingers all throughout the globe um and of course we see it in brazil we're seeing it in Sweden as well. Um, so the, the they're they are building on one another's politics and understanding what works. And it takes you have to be a real rube to think that this is traditional and uh, anti-establishment politics when really it, all it is is just rebranded fascism. Uh, this is what Hillary said. The election of the first woman prime minister in a country always represents a break with the past, and that is certainly a good thing. Um, and, I mean, I don't understand how that's much different than what Greenwald said. Um, and, like, I It's don't just know. everyone hates Hillary, so let's... But he, it's like he's trying to cover up that he had basically the same reaction and just use it to a slightly different... Um, uh, and use the identity politics to a slightly di- different purpose. Hillary just used it for girl boss, and then Greenwald used it for this vague anti-establishment BS, which is, well, probably not true. So, I, um, furthest right government since, since Mussolini, uh, according to a lot of experts in Italy, uh, covering Italy. So, um, yeah. And it's going to be basically like the things that they're really going to disagree with with the EU about is like, can we sink migrant boats in the Mediterranean? That's, that's the rub there. And, you know, I don't know, uh, given Glenn's previous on those kinds of issues, I, it's not surprised to me that he's sort of, uh, supporting Georgia Maloney. Moxie Boosted said, I guarantee you the fascists will use identity politics to defend the new Italian PM. I guess fascism isn't a man's game. Hashtag her story. Hashtag she, she authoritarian. <laughs> also, it's like the brother. What is it? The brotherhood of party? Of yeah, Italy? I know. I thought that too, right? <laughs> yeah, the brotherhood of Italy. Yeah, the brothers, brothers of Italy, of Italy brothers led of by Italy. a woman yeah. here who talks about traditional gender roles as well. Um, there was something about like the flag in, uh, in her party calls directly back to fascism and Mussolini and she's refused to change it. Yeah, it, it's like the flame there's flames on the flag that are that ostensibly are uh, indicating kind of the flames that flew that like, like flew over Mussolini's uh, uh, casket or something like that at his funeral. Right. And they've just never mm. changed it from that because that party, the original version of the iteration of this party um, was 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 decommissioned and like banned after World War II. So this is kind of what rose up in its embers is this party that she represents now. Well, the more that she uh, governs like Mussolini, the uh, sooner she meets the same end. <laughs> 